grew up in Edinburgh, um, lived in the same house all my life with my mum and dad and my sister. Just felt like a pretty chill childhood, just happy playing with my friends, school and stuff. So yeah, it's been a really good upbringing. And when did you start getting into football? Um, it was at school, so mum and dad, like, they never uh, played it or watched it or anything. So um, yeah, it was just through my friends at school and um, I just was always playing with the boys. So I just started off from there, really. But I remember the first time I went to, so the school had like a, um, like a Saturday morning club sort of thing and it was just to go and play but I think I was like maybe primary one then and I was the only girl and I, th I remember going, uh, I don't remember not enjoying it but I think I did stop and I think it was from what I remember just because I was the only girl and then as I got a wee bit older and more comfortable it was like primary three and um, I started uh, really enjoying it and that's when I, yeah, just playing at school was my earliest memories really. Yeah, and you said that when you were younger there maybe wasn't the, the role models that you could see. How does it feel now to maybe be a role model for young girls? Yeah, it's, it's weird actually because I never would have thought like I'd be in that position but I think it's not an, until like you're maybe asked to do things to support like the youth squads or you know just to help motivate them and things and you think oh right yeah like you are going to make a difference and I think what's good is that as a squad we are really down to earth so we just go about like as normal and, and we've not maybe necessarily changed in any way we just that's just who we are and we've all, all got a good work ethic so I think in terms of that we don't need to try and change the way we act we just we just are who we are and hopefully the, the younger girls can try and feed off that and, and see that we're just ourselves and work hard.